Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another cleaning video. So this is going to be a Sunday reset as we're getting ready for the new week. So organizing the dishes, we're also going to be tackling my bathrooms and I wanted to share the process with you all. So I don't know about you, but I feel like I am constantly washing the dishes and I grew up not having a dishwasher. So I use the dishwasher more for storage or to dry the dishes and I wash the dishes by hand. Am I the only one? Please let me know. If this is your first time coming across my channel and watching one of my videos, welcome. My name is Nicole and I'm an accountant who is also a content creator. I love making content, sharing work from home vlogs, my routines, and now as a new homeowner, sharing all things with my home buying journey, decorating, cleaning, and all of that. All right, so it's the next day and time to clean my bathrooms. So this bathroom in particular is tucked away, so I really don't see it. And it's one of those out of sight, out of mind things. But due to just the influx of guests we've been having and preparing for new guests, it was time to clean. So I bought some new products from Target as well as this nice power scrubber to just clean and organize this bathroom, which was much overdue. So I thought I would share a plan that I have for this bathroom. So this bathroom obviously does not get used much unless we have guests and then it's also going to be used whenever we have children in the future. But I do want to change out all of the sinks in our bathroom and I am thinking if I should paint the bathroom at all. But I definitely want to start off by painting the cabinet of the sink and maybe changing out the sink fixtures, just replacing the whole entire sink altogether. I don't know yet. So I hope you guys are motivated to clean as well. I hope after watching this video, it motivates you or just clean along with me. I usually like to do that. I usually put on a video of someone else cleaning and it just helps me clean. And it also teaches me like new methods of cleaning or other places that I have missed in the past that I should be mindful of. And guys, being a new homeowner and having a brand new construction house, you start to see all of the errors and flaws the more you clean. I found so many paint stains and so much bad caulking during this cleaning process. And since we do have a one year warranty with our builder, I can call them at any time and put in a maintenance request for them to come and just clean things up and make it look nice. So make sure you're also cleaning 
so that way as you are going in through the nooks and crevices you're finding things you can call them to come and repair it so that it can be the house that you dreamt it to be. This picture in my closet It's gathering dust right now And the edges have been folded once or twice So I'm still trying to figure out a cleaning routine just because coming from an apartment to a house is such a big adjustment and make sure you guys get the baseboards of your home when cleaning because they collect a lot of dust. But back to the routine thing, I'm still trying to figure out as to a routine because it's only two of us and we don't use all the rooms in the house. So trying to figure out how often I should be cleaning some of the areas that we never really use. So I want to know from you guys, what is your cleaning routine? How often are you cleaning your bathroom and your um, bedrooms and other areas that you don't really use much? things that you're seeing the curtains it's mainly from our old apartments so I've always loved decorating even when I'm living in an apartment so I've just saved all of those to use in the areas that obviously we don't go in much and then I've just bought new bathroom items for the bathroom that we do use often and then next we are going to talk about our primary bathroom which I'll share in just a second All right, so now we are in the primary bathroom and I fell in love with this house because the layout of everything was perfect. We did want to keep things builder grade so that way we made some updates. And one of the updates that we want to make to the bathroom is to add shower doors. And I am also thinking of replacing the sinks altogether or just painting the dark portion to a nice gray or beige I don't know yet but still thinking about it and then we also want to add a bathtub well my husband wants to add a bathtub but I'm trying to convince him that we won't use it often so I want to know from you all how often do you use your bathtub I want to be silly baby dancing night away I'll kick my shoes up if I want let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better
now that I've been a homeowner for six months, I have learned so much and I definitely want to bring content sharing that with you all. Um, just taking a bit of a step back from the nine to five work from home vlogs to just bring to you more home content because I know there's many of you who have also expressed interest that you're planning on buying a home and I want you guys to learn from someone who recently went through it all the ins and out what to do and just from a more relatable perspective because a lot of us are accountants or work in um, careers and we have been obviously moving up in our careers and are ready to make purchases such as buying homes so definitely here to help you guys so let me know what home buying questions you have or what kind of home buying content you would want to see from me and i'll bring it for you guys Alright you guys, so we're pretty much done with our cleaning for now. Just as I mentioned, these are areas that we do not use much. I use my primary bathroom just as a place that I come and get ready, but don't really use it too often. So I wanted to just pick up all the dust and get it all nice and clean. Um, eventually we will make our way living upstairs, but for now there is no rush. We are taking our sweet time with decorating, figuring out what we want, and it's going to be a process that I'm very excited to share with you all. So I hope you enjoy this cleaning routine and I hope it inspired you. Make sure you comment below your favorite part or what other cleaning videos you want from me. I do have a couple more of these cleaning routines for you to check out and make sure you also check out some of my work from home vlogs and my more corporate career content as well. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye!